Hi, in this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create WPF application using Visual C Sharp to insert, update, delete, and view data from Oracle database. Create new project and use Visual C Sharp to create WPF application. Name, location, solution name, it's up to you. Click OK. Open Server Explorer window. Make sure you have tested the connectivity with the database server that you attempt to communicate with. I've already made a complete tutorial on this connection. You can find the link to the video tutorial in the description below. Once you have connection succeeded, Right click on the data connection object, select properties. From properties window, copy the value of connection string. Save it for later use. In case if you don't see the password parameter, you can add it and specify the password for the user schema. Go to the solution explorer window. Right click on references, select add reference, click on extensions, search for oracle.manage data access. This assembly is the data provider that contains classes to make the connection with Oracle. Tick the option and click OK. From Solution Explorer, open app.config file. Inside configuration element, add a new element called connection strings. Inside this element, create new element called add to add connection string. Specify the following properties, name, connection string, provider name. The name property is up to you. But you have to remember it because you're going to use it in your code. Connection string, we have it already from data connection object. Just paste it. Provider name, it's the client in the Oracle Data Provider assembly. Now, Open XAML document, select the window, go to Properties window, click on Event Trigger button, search for the loaded event, double click in the text field to create the event. Create another event listener for window on closed. Call the following namespaces. If the system.configuration assembly is not in the references, so just try to add it. Create an instance for connection object. Create new function, type void, to instantiate Oracle connection object. Call it set connection. Create a connection string variable. Just call it from app.config file. Configuration manager dot connection strings, the name of the connection string dot connection string. Create Oracle connection object. In the constructor, pass the connection string. Open try and catch block. Inside try block, open the connection. In the constructor for this window, before initialize component, instantiate the connection object. 
open XAML document, make the window a little bit wider. Open toolbox window, drag and drop data grid control. Give it a name as a reference. Go back to C-sharp file. Create new void function. Name it update data grid. Create command object by calling create command function from connection instance. Specify the SQL statement in command text property for command object. Specify the type of SQL statement. Create data reader object to execute the SQL statement for reading the data. Create data table object. Save the result of data reader and data table object. Fill data grid control with data from data table object. Close the reader. On window loaded event, populate data grid control with data. And on window closed event, close the connection object. And start the project. Click on start. Now on the left side, let's create a form with add, update, delete, and reset functions. Open XAML document. From toolbox window, drag and drop five labels. Change the content for these labels based on the data to be entered. Drag and drop four text boxes. And for higher date, add date picker control. Remove default text from each of the text boxes. For each input control, give it a name to use it as a reference according to the corresponding label. Add group box control for the data form. Change the header to represent the data form. Drag and drop four buttons. For each button, give it a meaningful content. Also give it a name to use it as a reference, according to the operation that attempts to do.
For each button, create an event listener on click. Select the button, go to properties window, click on event trigger button, create event listener on click. Repeat the same steps with other buttons. The design for a graphical interface is completed. What's left, just handling the logic for event listeners.